React to Geography Now. Hey, we never watched Geography Now Ireland. That is so true. We never watched that. True. Geography Now. Hey, we never watched that. That's true. That Good morning, is true. Tommy. What's up, Taxman? When I see Taxman, I get scared. We never watched that. Hey everyone, we reached the land of one eighth of my own heritage. One eighth? Man, what the fuck is this guy's heritage, man? This guy's from everywhere. Okay, we never watched that. Let's go. We have nothing to do. Heritage Ireland, which means I'm probably a far off distant cousin it's of our be favorite so bad. Irishman, Why? Potter. For those who don't know, Potter has helped us out with many of the animations in the Irish. past. And Potter has been such a great guy, so we decided to fly Potter out here to literally be in Potter's own country's video. Potter, you rock, man. It's pronounced Potter. Potter. It's time to learn geography now! Eh, yeah, too late. I've been calling you Potter for like two years now. I'm not changing my mind. Anyway, we've reached Ireland! And I'm here to correct him if he gets anything wrong. So don't worry, lads. Yeah, that is so true, Potter. <laughs> uh, so that's what that feels like. Ah, the um... Where even does um, the word uh, lads come from? Uh, two sifts here, and then... Yeah, all good. Wait for Spanish Civil War. Very important to take army guy in a second. Well Europe's rain shield. The mech nugget. Ireland is loaded with so many notable spots and regions. <laughs> and there's a town called Dingle. First of all, Ireland is the third largest island in Europe, located in the North Atlantic Ocean, separated from Great Britain by the North Channel, the Irish Sea, and St. George's Channel. Eh, did you notice how I deliberately avoided British Isles? Uh, yeah, good call. Now, here's where things get a little confusing. Ireland's subdivisions. Let's just get it over with quick and fast. So, when discussing the independent sovereign state, most people are referring to the Republic of Ireland, which makes up these five six of the island, and unless many mentioned otherwise, this is the Ireland we'll be mostly discussing in this episode. To this day, the last fifth northern part of Ireland here is actually part of the UK, and it doesn't even quite know exactly what to label itself. Some call it a province, some say it's a region, some say it's a constituent country, but the point is, the UK holds on to it. Which, as you can imagine, has created some interesting feelings in the past with the Irish. It's weird. Uh, yeah. Any messages? Just checking. I want to play... Good. Almost at 50. So, because the people here can choose their own citizenship, be it British, Irish, or both. On the west side, the North Ireland border just juts into the farmlands, ending at a small village called Manger, and provides a seven-kilometer wide quarter to the town of Bundoran for the rest of the Republic to enter into Donegal County. And then you have the strange Penny Enclave right across the Finn River, with only a tenth of a kilometer wide entrance oh. that Ireland grabbed and is still part of... That's Monaghan weird. County. You're this fully surrounded, man. Small exclave to the UK. They must have in there. Band with only three small farming homes. The only way to get in besides swimming across the river would be by taking the most name-switched international road on the island, the Irish N54, which wow. turns into the A3 highway. Thank you, stupid cow. I think we have 150 now. Yeah, any second? Thank you, man. Uh, one sec. I need I need Michael Joe Costello. Everybody's a fucking Costello over here, man. I thought Costello was Italian. Like in mafia movies, Costello is always the, the mafia. Military theorist. Let's go into Northern Ireland, then it switches back into the N54, once you cross into the Exclave, then it reverts back to the A3. Dude, look at that, there's only farmlands in Ireland. The there's nothing else, look at that. Back into the Republic of Ireland. Farm, so farm, farm. It's like Irish, British, Irish, British, Irish. Or as I like to call it, my dating life. <laughs> also, the UK was like, nah. Instead of following the Blood River all the way to the block, why don't we just swerve left through the farmland to take the entire city of Derry? Because, hey, logic! Basically, to an Irish person, the entire island of Ireland, including Northern Ireland, is just Ireland. So, if you consider the administrative divisions, the Republic of Ireland is divided into 26 counties. However, many also include the extra six from Northern Ireland and call it 32. But then there's the two city and county councils, Limerick and Waterford, and the three city councils, Dublin, Galway, and Court, making 31 local authorities in the Republic of Ireland and technically 37 again if you include Northern Ireland's counties. What the fuck is that to administer? There's just a bunch of farms. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I got that right. Ooh. Historically, though, Ireland was also kind of split into four provinces that many people still refer to today. They are Connacht, Leinster, Munster, and Ulster. Northern Ireland is often referred to as Ulster as it encompasses most of the counties that make up the historical province. Otherwise, the largest cities after Dublin are Cork and Limerick, with the largest airports being Dublin, Cork, and Shannon airports. Keep in mind, if Northern Ireland was included in this, Belfast would take the number two spots on each of those lists. In addition to being an island itself, Ireland also hosts hundreds of smaller little islands and islets. The most populated ones being Great Island by Cork, Ackle Island in Mayo. I want to really, really go to Ireland one day, man. Finally, Have a little trip there, man. Like a nature trip and go to like pubs and Trinity shit. College. The Guinness Storehouse. The Neolithic Tomb of Newgrange, which is older Ooh. than the Pyramids of Giza. The Rock Whoa, Cashel. really? 
Fuck off. Bullshit. The Neolithic tomb of Newgrange, which is older than the pyramids of Giza. What? Newgrange tomb is older than the pyramids? Newgrange tomb? Older than the pyramids of Giza? Fuck off. There was Irish chilling there, like 3000 BC, 4000 BC? Newgrange uh, is a prehistoric monument in the county Meath. Ireland, located 8 kilometers west of Drogheda, on the north side of the Rabine. It is an especially grand passage to built in the Neolithic period around 3200 BC, making it older than Stonehenge and the Egyptian pyramids. Are you fucking kidding me? Construction history. The original complex of Newgrange was built between 3200 uh, and 3100. According to the carbon 14 dates, it is approximately 500 years older than the current form of Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid of Gizeh uh, in Egypt and as well predating the Mycenaean culture of ancient Greece. Wow. I've never known it existed. Purpose. Uh, debates, blah, blah. It's a bit too much here. But wow. Holy fuck, man. There was fucking Irish people walking around naked when they built the pyramids. God damn. God damn. Um, let me just uh, take care of shit one second until this is done. They pronounce Gize, not Giza. Are they? I don't know. In Germany we say Gize, so fuck you. <laughs> you pronounced wrong. <laughs> okay, I think I did everything. Good shit. Let's go back. That's crazy. Coins of Lock in Wicklow, the Blarney Stone of Cork. That island that was filmed at the, the end of Star Wars oh. is called Skellig Michael. Tory Island, which kind of has like its own king. I have my, great. my own nose hair is like tickling me inside my nose. That's the weirdest fucking shit. Scotty ass grave. For an Egyptian princess is buried supposedly. I didn't Egyptian know. Egyptian princess. Know wow. I just found it off of Atlas Obscura. The Mound of Hostages. The Cada Fields. The Sky Garden. Hookhead Lighthouse. The oldest continuously used lighthouse still operating in Europe. So you live right next to it. Yeah. Sean's Bar, the oldest surviving pub and possibly the entire world. And of course, the oldest way too pub many. in the Churches, world. Churches, abbeys, castles, dolmens. How cool is that, man? Everything else to list. There's way too many of them. Way too many. Oh, and avoid Temple Bar, right? In Dublin. That's like a tourist trap and you can't actually meet any real Irish people there, it's just don't go there. Don't yeah, go to Temple Bar. Give it a miss. Go to Coppers. Coppers. Yeah. Ah, beer, you guys know your way around the pint, don't you? Oh, no, well. you don't. Guinness fucking tastes like shit, okay? People that drink Guinness, they just want to be edgy. Oh, I'm different than others. I drink Guinness. It fucking tastes like shit. And you know it, and you just want to be cool. Irish people do, but I don't actually drink. Oh, okay. Hey. After that, man, I cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ireland is very green. The end. Uh, all right, dun, so dun. there's a little bit more to it than that. Ireland is a post-glacial carved mineral and sandstone island with about 12 small mountain ranges, the majority of which are located in the north, west, and south. You'll notice looking at the map that the east coast of Ireland seems to be relatively smooth and straight, whereas the west coast of Ireland seems to be all choppy and serrated with inlets and peninsulas. Almost like if you took a ball of clay and just spread it across a flat surface in one direction. <laughs> one direction. Anyway, the tallest peak is Mount Carntool at about a thousand meters. And the longest and most important river being the River Shannon, and a large lake on the entire island. Ireland being Loch Ney in Northern Ireland. Oh, there's However, supposed to be monster living there, right? Republic of Ireland, the largest would be Loch Corrib in West Galway. The west side is also home to the most. Ireland looks so beautiful. Doing like a nature trip there. Look at that, Jesus! So beautiful, man. Otherwise, you have the Slavey Cliff oh. about the border of North and into the UK's Northern Ireland. You still you have the Giant's Causeway, a series of hexagonal volcanic plug steps that just jut into the. Is ocean. that crazy that nature did that? Isn't that fucking that. crazy? Hexagonal. Hexagonal. <laughs> hexagonal. 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 Now, despite being located fairly north in latitude, Ireland oh, actually Northless is in Scotland. Oh, weather phenomenon oh. in which it actually kind of acts like a rain shield for the UK. It takes all the warm air released by the North Atlantic Gulf Stream that starts all the way from the Caribbean. This means that although Ireland is on the same relative latitude as Newfoundland, Canada, they remain about 9 degrees Celsius or about 17 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like warmer, the perfect weather for me, man. Point, which in Ireland might be the perfect location for me to live in. Uh, okay, we have like a... Oh, don't Hardly even think about it. Snow. However, that again in return means Ireland gets a ton of rain. Like seriously, Beautiful. Half the year is it's great. Dude, like Ireland will be the big winner in 50 the years. When the whole world is fucking dying like to global warming, rest. everything when is dry and water is gone, Ireland will be a fucking first world country, man. They will take over everything. They will say water to everyone. Come across being spuds, sugar beets, and grains like barley, oats, and wheat. Which as you can imagine... Oh no, they will flood. They will go on the water. Oh, well, no, this is done. Product, beer. Beer! Ireland without beer is like Mexico without tacos, Koreans without kimchi, Argentinians without salsa, Bob Saget without his telekinetic laser vision. 
Yeah, beer culture is such an integral part of being Irish that even priests and nuns get in on the action and share a pint of Guinness. Which, by the way, the Bible never condemns alcohol, just drunkenness. So, know your limits. Yeah, we go to confessional. Well. You go. Otherwise, some top notable Irish dishes might include things like... Box tea. Potato mm. bread. Brown oh. soda bread. Oh. Bacon and cabbage. Too many sous to list, like coddle and Irish stew. Black pudding, oysters and Guinness. And overall, you can find... Black pudding is the most cooked. disgusting Various shit on earth, like man. Everything. In addition, Ireland is also the perfect habitat for about 26 species of mammals, like the red fox, European Hedgehog, the stoat, pygmy shrew, and badger, and the one land reptile that is native to the country, the viviparous lizard. That was maybe the most no, boring the list of animals. St. Patrick driving all the snakes out of Ireland was probably not true. Ireland most likely never had snakes due to its geographic isolation from the rest of Europe, and also St. Patrick probably wasn't Irish, he was Welsh. Yeah, lots of misconceptions when it comes to Irish people. Sa wait, St. Patrick was Welsh? Is anything real in this Which brings world? Two. So Potter, I... Uh, sorry, Patter. So what does it mean to be Irish? Oh, we're all about the crack in Ireland, so we are. Yeah, crack... What? what? Crack. crack. Crack every day and night of the week. We love the... Just like the Americans. Crack, so I do. D.A. Freeze, how's work? See them. Oh, common misconception. See, we're not actually talking about drugs, we're talking about... Resisting arrest! We're not... Uh, no! <laughs> He's First white. of all, Why won't Ireland you do that? has about 4.8 million people, over 6 million if you include Northern Ireland, and has the highest birth rate in the EU, about 83% of the country identifies rate? as ethnically Irish, whereas about 9.5% are white of other nationalities, whereas the remainder of the country is other groups like Asians, blacks, and who knows, probably some magical wizards or something. So the country uses the euro as their currency, they also use the type G plug outlet, and they drive... Dude, them. Ireland is such as this, like a meme in Germany with my family. Mm. Ireland is so small, but literally... Every tenth, uh, how to say in English, um, coin that I have is Irish. I could literally get my coins right now. There's two Irish coins in there. They're now, everywhere, man. modern media, everyone probably has at least a little bit of exposure to the stereotypical Irish Schickler. culture one way or another. You know, like river dance or leprechauns or river dancing leprechauns. But there's an entire world. I have a little bit of a trauma here. I used to be called a leprechaun Tommy a lot of my life. Like okay, Tommy in school Gay. I was bullied a lot. Hey, Tommy, why, where is your pot of gold? Yeah, I was fucking bullied a lot there. Um, it's not even funny. Yeah, I remember a lot of girls were always telling me, um... Where's the pot of gold, huh? Leprechaun? Where, where's your funny head? Oh, Tommy, there's a rainbow. You, you gonna hunt for the pot of gold? That's actually a creative joke. Yeah, very creative. Very creative to destroy someone. So sad. Can we get some Twitch primes? So oh god fucking damn it. World to the deep-rooted Irish identity. First of all, the language. Technically, Ireland, or at least the Republic of Ireland, is a bilingual country that uses both Irish and English, although English is used far more often than Irish ever is. The Irish language is related to other Celtic-based languages spoken in Scotland, Wales, and to some extent, Brittany in France. Just when you thought you were safe after the Iceland episode, Irish comes along and suddenly M and H make a V sound, D and H make a G or Y sound, B, H, and F sometimes make like a w sound. All right, Paul, let's see you take a shot at saying these words. All right. R I I G L A T. R I G L A T. Nope. R I G L A T. It means go on. R I G L A T. Tabarta. Talk. Nice try. It's talk duck. It means important. Talk duck? Letras. No. Lehers. It means toilet. Fail nacht. Actually, that was just one I made up. But I strike. It must be so cool when you can speak Irish, man. Like, you literally speak a language that no one else speaks. There's no one. Wherever you are in the world, if you and your mate speak Irish, you can't fucking say whatever you want to people. It's like the no one knows what the fuck's going time, on. The was like Chinese, Spanish, whatever. There's always might maybe one guy around the corner who knows what the fuck you're talking about. But Irish suppressed and discouraged by the English-speaking rulers to the point where a couple of generations were greatly affected and grew up barely knowing their own native tongue. Today, the language has seen a huge resurgence and is one of the core subjects in most primary and secondary schools. Oh, they don't need language again. Half the population claims to be fluent in Irish. And Lots in Greek. Actually, speak it regularly in daily life. The Irish language is still survives into the 21st century. All the public signs are posted in both languages. They even have an Irish-speaking TV channel. 
radio station, and even an online newspaper. In order to get a real feel of Ireland, though, you kind of have to know a little bit of history, which will take way too long to explain, but in the quickest way we can put it... Stone Age. Celtic culture comes in. Chiefdoms. High Kings. Christianity. Vikings. Normans. Castles got built. Black Death. Henry VIII split from the Catholic Church and attacked. Ulster Plantation and quasi-English rule Oliver Cromwell. Wars. Theobald Wolf, who led a failed rebellion. Potato Famine. Sons moved to the U.S. and Scotland. Gaelic Revival. North doesn't agree. Conflict and persecution against Catholics. Home Rule. Home Rule suspended. World War I, Eastern Rising. IRA fights. Irish Civil War. Free Staters won. World War II, they remain mostly neutral. 1969 Civil Rights Marches. Northern Ireland gets more drama. They joined the EU. Good Friday Agreement. Celtic Tiger. Financial Crisis. But they still grow and move forward. And here we are today. As Most of the shit i never heard before. People in Ireland, the Irish, Imagine come before. from a long line of people known as the Celts or the Celtic. It's Celtic, Boston. It's Celtic, Boston. It's a Celtic, Irish, my people. I'm a foot of all the way from Glasgow, Celtic. Not Celtic. Thousands of years ago, the Celts roamed all across That's my boys. Europe. However, the rise of empires and warring people groups kind of pushed them all the way west into the Isles. And yeah, the Celts fuck had you. an incredibly complex system of tribes or clans and families that dominated certain regions with their own chiefs. And oh, look at all the fucking families. McSweeney, Fitzgerald, O'Connor. Where's McGregor? Look at all the names. Dude, oh, you have a lot of these names in America nowadays, right? Shit ton of Americans uh, have these names. O'Hara. Maguire. Yes, yeah, so much shit you know from America. Lots of immigration, I guess. This is partially why so many people in Ireland have mech or the, the almost exclusively Irish use O prefix prefixes. That means son of. Names, which translates to son or descendant. Prior to Christianity, Celts were primarily farmers and cattle herders pagan and druid roots with some controversial practices recorded by romans christianity came in and then catholicism played a huge role even to this day however certain ancient traditions still lived on like the festival of Sabe? sound Sa really what i thought m and h make a b sound nah it depends sometimes it does sometimes <laughs> <laughs> Your language. sound later as halloween which became popularized and is celebrated all across the world today however originally they used to use turnip lanterns not pumpkins Folklore and tradition is strong. We've all heard of leprechauns, but there's also Fionn McCool and the Fianna of the Fenian Cycle, Cucullan the Hound, Dirba and Grania, similar to the Princess Isolde and Tristan in Arthurian legend, and so much more. And the two most popular sports, which are almost never played anywhere else in the world, Gaelic football and hurling. Oh yeah, that's like a... What is Gaelic football? Popular Sorry. Sports, is that rugby? Almost never played anywhere else in the world, Gaelic football. Gaelic? What the fuck is that? It's like you're too dumb to play real football, so they were like... You know, back in the day when you were a kid and you're playing on the football ground with your friends, there was always this dumb kid who will take the fucking ball in the hands. You're like, hey, we're playing football over here. And then they made a sport out of it. Ball and hurling. Oh, yeah, that's... Well, I guess you had to do that if your team never wins in, in football. Ooh. Ooh. Are we back in the game? Hey, there we go, man. Ooh. It's like a Irish uh, Quidditch or something, right? Yeah. Yeah! Don't call it Quidditch. Oh yeah, this is a hurl. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. How do you play with that? Why don't we ask Jason Statham? Oh, Speaking of which, there is no universal Irish accent. You get different uh, dialects from different regions. For example, Moses Tasser thinks he's great. Now he's on YouTube. I'll wrap this whole round his neck. Big fat head on him. Well, I came home on a Monday night. As drunk as drunk could be. I don't know who you are or where you are. And I will find you and return this wallet. Dude, thank God you came here because I would have offended the entire country and gotten stabbed within hours of upload if I attempted that. No, yeah. Otherwise, some famous people of Irish descent might include people like... Oscar Wilde. So, you mean, Oscar Wilde is... Uh, there must be a lot of... Uh, everybody chat, name famous, famous Irish people. Uh, obviously, Conor McGregor. The thing is, all these actors from America, they're just descendants. They're not really Irish. Like, Neem Neeson and, 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 and all these people, they were, they were born in Boston and shit. Shane Long. Jacksepticeye, true, yeah? Jacksepticeye. Colin... Colin Farrell? Aren't these people born in America, man? Killian Murphy. Kill Killian Murphy's Irish? Oh, uh, Robert Sheehan. We, me, me and Lisa were big fans of Robert Sheehan. Liam Neeson was actually born in Ireland. Call me Kevin. Kennedy wasn't born in Ireland. Are you fucking mental? That's not true. Oil. James Joyce, Bram Stoker, Samuel. Bram Stoker is uh, he did like uh, horror movies and shit. No horror books. I need to have construction too. So right now I have a path, and I guess I take the mills. We didn't have the election yet, so you take the two mills. The two mills have to go somewhere though, so we're gonna put that up. Everything is prepared. Samuel Beckett, chemist Robert Boyle, Graham Norton. I know Graham Norton. Yeah, 
Terry, Terry Wogan. Wogan. The Irish. Pe yeah, I know that the Irish PewDiePie. This guy is so fucking rich, man. This guy looking at it, this guy has so much money you cannot imagine, dude. PewDiePie guy. You two and Bono. A U2 is from... Is that a young U2? I've never seen a young U2, The man. script. The script? Who the fuck is the script, Robert man? Boyle. Graham Norton. Sorry, Terry I'm Wogan. just trying the to Irish keep PewDiePie up. Irish PewDiePie guy. You 2 and Bono. The script. The guy in the middle wasn't the boys. The, script. I know that. The, Dub the Dubliners. No idea. Never seen him. Tommy Thank you, Fingleton. Dubliners. Phil... Phil... Phil no. Linnett, whom I incorrectly refer to as Philly Not in the Guyana episode. Sorry about no that. Worries. The Cranberry. The Cranberries, man. I literally saw them live two days ago in the movie Click, where they play the wedding songs. Enya. Enya. Hosier. The Rubber Bandits. The Rubber Bandits. Why do they look Russian? But well, the Irish are like the Russians of the West. Love you, Tommy. Thank Keep you, Peronga, man. Good work, three. Thank you. Bandits. And thank you, Spotter. Thank you, man. The dude from... The dude from... One Direction. Colin Farrell. Killian Murphy, Killian Murphy, Brendan Gleeson, Saoirse Ronan, I got that! Nail it. Maureen O'Hara, Richard Harris, uh, Northern Ireland, Liam Neeson, and Michael Fassbender is half Irish, so I guess it kind of counts. Yeah, yeah, some guy called Three, Tommy, yeah, Connor McGregor. Hey, hey, why are you talking shit about Connor? Oh, they hate, when was this made? After 2018? What, 17? He didn't fuck up then yet. Wait, Khabib versus Connor was, uh, 2018 or 19? When was that? 2018, yeah. Why are you against Connor then? What? Fender is half Irish, so I guess it kind of counts. What? Yeah, uh, yeah. Some guy called Conor McGregor. Yeah, Conor McGregor. Uh, oh, and according to that one Malaysian guy from Flag Friday, Westlife and Boyzone. Otherwise, we could go on and on about the rich, complex layers of he music. He didn't punch dance, the old guy in 2017. Of artifacts, traditions, when this was made. Customs and legends, but that would take way too long. And if you want to know more, just watch any episode of Fair City or Father Ted. Or you could just like talk to an Irish person as well. Nah, TV's better. TV never gets anything wrong. In the meantime, I, I mean, if I was Irish, dude, I am very emotional about Conor McGregor. Everybody knows that. If I was Irish, I would have been so proud of Conor McGregor uh, up until the Conor Mc the, the the Khabib fight. And now I will be so ashamed that he represents me internationally. Friend zone but before that, I'd be two, very proud. One. No matter where you find them in this world, you know you're going to be lucky when you find an Irishman. First of all, as an EU member state, Ireland. Sorry, one sec. I want to pay attention. Dominion breaks with the crown. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 shit is happening, boys. Chill, chill, chill. Hey, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. I like capitalism, right? Don't I? You know, I like capitalism, me. Eh? Yes, I like capitalism. I'm a fan. Uh, yeah, yeah, I shall pay attention. We have to finish this video, man. Ireland has strong ties to many of their continental neighbors, specifically the what Catholic countries like France and Spain. What happened in the Khabib side? You lived under The French and the Irish have a long history of joining up in the squabbles against the British. And about 60% of students in secondary school learn French. Spain is not only close and does good business, but it's also the number one tourist destination for the Irish, as about a quarter of their entire population visits at least once a year. Wow. Surprisingly, the Lithuanians have been flocking to Ireland since the 90s, Thank after you, the collapse of the Soviet Union, and make up the third largest immigrant group after the British and the Polish. But keep Keep in mind, the Polish, they like go everywhere. UK made an Irish focus? Man, what's up there? Irish focus, then a on you. This was no shocker. I mean, remember how they made up like 8% of Iceland's population? Mm -hmm. Now, despite the past drama, Ireland gets along pretty well with the UK. A lot of their imports come from them, and the Irish are an almost integral part of the common British atmosphere, as so many of them live there. And nonetheless, the best friends of Ireland would actually probably be Scotland in the UK and the USA. Scots and the Irish are Celtic brothers that have shared cultures since the beginning, as well as some of the same structure. Hey, you guys should fucking unite against the Brexiteers. What the fuck? What, what way is he going? He's fascist, right? This is fascism. He took a change in course, so organized black shirts. I don't know yet. Looks a bit like King, because he doesn't have anything yet. We will see. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. And struggles. Tons of Irish moved to Liverpool after the potato famine and were generally welcomed by their cousins. I mean, horrible accents aside, have you seen that one scene in Braveheart where the Irish mercenaries backstabbed the British and joined their Scottish cousins? Oh, really? Cousins? I don't remember yeah, that. like that, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. The USA, in though. Summer 1995, Braveheart. You kids were fucking gooing your dad's balls when that movie came out. It's like their favorite. Cracked my ass off in the end of that. It was a lot bigger and stronger. Not only do about 30% of their exports go to the US, but after the potato famine, hundreds of thousands of Irish came flocking into Ellis Island. And to this day, about 35 yeah. million Americans claim wow. to have either partial or full Irish heritage. Million, the largest concentrations on the East Coast in New England. That's about seven times the population of Ireland itself. It even got to me somehow. Thank you, Grandpa, I never met. In conclusion, I'm actually going to give this to you, man. 
Take it away. Thank you, Paul. In conclusion, Ireland has had to Conor McGregor its way through war, famine, economic recession, terrible leprechaun rapping. Wait, what did he just say about McGregor? You, man. Wait, what did he say? Thank you, Paul. In conclusion, Ireland has had to Conor McGregor its way through war, famine. What is he saying? What? I don't understand. Wait. Paul. In conclusion, Ar Ireland has had to Conor McGregor its way. Okay. Ireland okay, has had to Conor McGregor its way through war, famine, economic recession, terror. Ah, uh, uno momento, boys. Uno momento. Uh, be clever, be clever, be clever, be clever. Hmm. Hmm. Did you choose something? Let's see what he does. Looks like King Doe. Terrible leprechaun Looks like King. rapping. And Gerard Butler's horrible accent in PS I Love You. Seriously, man, you're Scottish. It shouldn't be that hard. Ah. But all that ah, he's Scottish. Yeah, he's Scottish. To be he's not Irish. Kid on the block, despite a few emotional issues here and there. We're pretty rad, if I say so myself. Go on, Ireland, you beautiful, drunken mess of a nation, you. And you know what? In honor of your 1-8th Irish lineage, I've decided to bestow on you the title of Kind of Irish, I Guess. Here's... One eighth of an Irish shamrock, hmm. tied on with a piece of sellotape. Wow, thanks, Potter. Even though I always get your name wrong, so yeah. You do. Oh, title revoked. No, no, no. Okay, come on. We've been through this. Okay, so it's it's like ladder, but pa patter, right? Patter. Okay, patter. now we're all more educated than Ireland. There you fucking go, man. There you fucking go. I'm not educated on what the fuck's happening in Cato, man. 